Live in Los Angeles, this is The Herd. Wherever you may be and however you may be listening live, iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio, and FS1. Joy Taylor is joining me today. By the way, baseball playoffs last night. I uh, watched the Cubs games a couple of nights ago and uh, watched the Yankees game last night. Watched the baseball game today. Play- I like baseball, just like it in the postseason. Not really interested in, uh, you know, June 18th, uh, Kansas City Royals Twins. But uh, the Yankee Stadium crowd's incre- incredible. Yankee Stadium is different than every place else. When I'm watching television, whatever it is, it's like Lambeau Field in Green Bay. It sounds louder. I don't know if it is, but it sounds louder. And I don't know what it is at Yankee Stadium. It just sounds louder. And it totally hooks me in. Hard to turn a Packer game off at Lambeau. It jumps right through the television. It's very hard for me. If the Packers are on and it's at Lambeau, I'm pulled in emotionally. Last night, Yankees is on. I'm totally pulled in. I don't know what it is. It's just there are certain arenas, there are certain venues. I mean, Notre Dame games at night. If Notre Dame's on television at night and they got the lights down in South Bend and touchdown Jesus on the wall, I don't even care who they're playing. They can be playing Navy, BY. It doesn't matter. I get sucked into certain venues. They're just, they are, I don't even know. It's just big. It feels grand. And Yankee Stadium last night was great. 15 minutes for playing buy, sell, or hold. Uh, by the way, best for last, I saw something yesterday in sports I cannot believe is still allowed but tonight's Thursday night football on Fox uh, Colts Patriots from New England baby so I'm starting there Tom Brady will get his 500th career touchdown pass tonight probably tonight if not in his next game and only three people have ever done that when Tom does that Brady Favre and Peyton Manning and Tom Brady is the only one of those three still playing and he's less popular than all of them still. Why would that be? Is he a bad guy? No. Is he underachieved? No. Is he a bad dad? No. Bad husband? No. No, Tom is handsome, and he has a supermodel wife, and he does high-end endorsements. He's one of those dreaded coastal elites. Ooh. That speaks not poorly of Tom, that he's not as popular as Peyton Manning, who he's better than, or Brett Favre, who he was much better than. It speaks poorly of us. It's about jealousy and envy. They've done studies on this, folks. When we think people are pulling away from us, we like them less. Fear-based. Oprah Winfrey, 20 years ago, lost weight. And her TV ratings went down. She got less popular. You see, politicians do this all the time. A very popular message with politicians. I'm one of you. I can relate to you. We are conjoined in this fight. No, you change laws. I'm a radio idiot. We're not even close to the same. You're changing legislation in America. You're a politician. You're a senator. You're a president. You're a governor. I just talk into a microphone. We're not the same. I want to remind everybody listening today that Michael Jordan did not eat Big Macs or ballpark Franks, and he didn't wear Hanes underwear. I want to remind you that Peyton Manning doesn't eat Oreos, doesn't eat pizza a lot, does not drive a mid-sized sedan. My favorite Tom Brady quality is authenticity. He's never once tried to say, hey, 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 I'm eating fast food tonight, and a Mountain Dew, I'm one of you. No, he's never once tried to do that. Unlike your local politician or perhaps your federal one, your local columnist or your national one, your boss, whoever it is who's selling you one thing and delivering another, Tom's never done that. We should have a new rule in sports today that we we reward people who are honest with us. Even if honesty makes us a little uncomfortable, even if honesty makes us a little jealous, even if honesty makes us a little envious. Did you ever see that documentary he did, Tom versus Time? Did that remind you of your life at all? No, it never did, but it was real. It wasn't my real. My life isn't Costa Rica. My life is not that splendid. My life is not surfing in Costa Rica, mansion on the beach. That's not my life, but that's Tom's life, and that's a real life. No Oreos, no mid-sized sedans, no ballpark Franks, 
By the way, there's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. But even on my show, I tell advertisers, if I don't use it, I'm not telling people I use it. I think I owe you that. Real. Tom Brady is less popular than Favre and Peyton Manning. And it says nothing about him. It says everything about us. We always get the politicians and the celebrities we deserve. We get exactly what we deserve. Tom Brady's been a great dad, great husband, a great quarterback, a great teammate, taking great pay cuts, and doesn't try to sell you a bunch of crap that he's not using. He's 100% authentic. Sometimes you could even argue he's a little nerdy. He's, you know, he's a little geeky. But then he sort of shows us he's a little geeky. Tip of the cap to the greatest who's ever played, who keeps it, as they say, 100. Let me shift to this, because I'm really in the mood today to talk about uh, honesty. Um, most people, I'm probably... One of these people, most people don't like confrontation. Nobody ever comes up to me and yells at me. They do on Twitter because they can be anonymous. You know what I mean? But like when I walk around the grocery store or a car wash or like, you know, everyday places, everybody comes up and says nice things. I've been doing this 30 years. Nobody's ever come up once I've been a jerk that was sober, sometimes drunk people. Um, but, you know, that, that's alcohol speaking. But um, people don't like confrontation. So it's easier, I'm not saying it's better, it's easier to be honest anonymously. You can rip somebody because they don't know it's you. And so every year, the NBA at this time of the year has their general manager survey. Anonymously, general managers vote on a variety of topics. Now, publicly, General managers will never criticize a star player because they may want to get them. First of all, they don't want to be seen as anti-player because players control the NBA. Players don't really control the NFL. Players don't control baseball. I mean, they don't, they don't control hockey. Players control, star players control the NBA. But I like this survey because it's the one time every year general managers in the NBA can be absolutely honest because they can be anonymous. And a lot of people in the NBA... Because Kevin Durant's going to be a free agent, and they'd like to get Kevin Durant on their roster. Love Kevin Durant. He's every bit as good as LeBron. That's interesting, because the general manager's NBA survey came out. LeBron won eight categories. Best passer. Which player forces coaches to adjust most? Best small forward. Who will win MVP? Which new player will have the greatest impact? Best leader, best IQ, most versatile. Hell, LeBron finished second and best big forward. He's not even playing that position. Kevin Durant won one category. Who do you want to take a big shot at the end of the game? By the way, he ranked third in the same survey, best shooter on his own team. LeBron won eight categories and finished second in a position he doesn't play. When you can go anonymous, you can tell the truth. Most versatile defender. Kevin Durant didn't get a vote. LeBron got third. LeBron stopped playing defense last year. <laughs> so for the Kevin Durant is better than LeBron crowd, once general managers could be honest about it, not close. Oh, by the way, Steph Curry got votes in 11 categories more than Kevin Durant got. So on his own team, Kevin Durant got votes in fewer categories than Steph Curry. Not even the biggest vote getter on his own team. So when you can go anonymous, you can be more honest. And in a star-driven league, when nobody ever wants to criticize stars, it would have been very, very easy. The one that everybody will talk about today, the one category is, if you were starting a franchise today and could sign any player, who would it be? And LeBron got like fourth. But remember, that's always been a category about age. Last year, Carl Anthony Towns won it. Nobody in the NBA thought Carl Anthony Towns was better than LeBron. That category gets over-discussed. I can't believe that's an age category. GMs every year go out. I mean, Joel Embiid got votes. 
You know, I mean, uh, Anthony Davis, Giannis, Giannis got votes. Last year it was Carl Anthony Towns. That's the one that will get discussed today and people will freak out. LeBron should have won that. LeBron's in his, what, 16th year? Yeah, I mean, a lot of general managers are looking for the next star, not the current star. Don't pay that much attention to that one. But pay attention to what the GMs, who could be totally honest about LeBron and Durant, how the voting went. LeBron won eight categories. Leader, passer, IQ, positions he doesn't even play he got votes in. Durant didn't get the most votes in the most categories on his own team. Good stuff. Um, tonight, Patriots, Colts. But coming up next, buy, sell, or hold. I'm the stockbroker. You ask the question. I'll tell you what to do. Buy it, sell it, hold it. Back in a second, this is The Hurt.